Hi everybody, welcome to my next video. Um, you know, this is actually one of my restaurant reviews. Uh, I know a while back somebody had asked me in a comment about one of my other restaurant reviews that i done for a restaurant review of this restaurant. Well, Tony and I went in this restaurant just so I could shoot this video. We've actually been there twice total. Once, the first time we went was on a Thursday. The second time we went was on a Saturday or something. I think it was Saturday. I'm pretty sure it was Saturday. But, per that person's request, this is that restaurant review for this restaurant. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the restaurant called Aladdin. And it's the restaurant that I was talking about, you know, when I talked about jalapenos left. Actually, Aladdin had opened up the, just literally the day before Tony and I got there, or like two days ago, or prior to that. And it's, you know, of course, here in Cold Spring, Kentucky. Well, I mean, it's a, Aladdin is a really good Mediterranean restaurant. Um, here's actually the take home menu. Um, it says restaurant and cafe. Um, it says hookah or it says hookah bar. People will probably like they do with guys and dolls misinterpret what that means. Uh, you know, hookah bar. It's a hookah bar. It's just purely for the hookah part, not like bar as in you go and get pie eye kind of thing. Um, yeah, there. This is an actual dry restaurant, meaning they don't serve any alcohol at all there. Um, both times that I went there to eat with Tony, I got what's called a beef shawarma. It, uh, it's about that long and it's like that fit around. It's got beef in it and it's kind of like, like, like the name implies, but it's got like peppers and um, like some kind of like sauce, like spice sauce and onions and everything. It does come with lettuce and tomato too, but I'm not big on lettuce and tomato, so I have to hold that. Uh, both times that I ate there on the Thursday and Saturday, which was, uh, like, last month, it was like, you know, right before Halloween, um, I got the same thing, the beef shawarma sandwich and rice. I got the platter, because you can get the platter. And the prices, incidentally, are very reasonable. Like. For example, for the beef shawarma, which is what I got, the sandwich by itself is five ninety five. Of course, plus tax. This is all plus tax. And then the platter is eight fifty. So it's like for like a couple dollars, two three dollars more, you can get the platter. And the side dishes, you can get rice, fries, Lebanese or Greek salad. Um, and it also includes a drink. Well, you know, and some of the then these are the drinks you're gonna have, you know. Like soda pop and tea and coffee, you know, juices, lattes, uh, smoothies, energy drinks, etc. Um, as far as the hoop pipes go, I will talk about that in a minute. But um, the easiest way to describe how the uh, shawarma comes out is other than, you know, it comes out as like this long and everything and it's round, is it kind of tastes like a beef fajita and it's got like steak in it it's really good uh and it's wrapped tightly and it actually comes in like a tin foil number and it's like baked like the bread it's like the stuff's baked inside the actual like burrito bread or something or pita bread whatever it is it's like a burrito um and the rice like the first time we were in there that thursday was like yellow rice that i got the saturday which was you know like couple days later um, it was I got like this brown rice and it was really good the first time we went in there Tony got a Greek salad with a gyro and the second time he got exactly what I got the shawarma except for he had them put everything in it uh, and he liked it this time too he's like he's like dang you know that's good you know we both agree the food's just amazingly good there, and we do recommend eating there. Uh, now, I'm going to talk about the hookah part. Yes, it's obviously a smoking restaurant. I mean, they, they smoke not only the hookahs there, but they also smoke cigarettes and everything. 
Um, the ventilation system is really good there, so you don't have to worry, like, if you go, you know, getting, like, overwhelmed with the smell of hookah or whatever. Um, there's three different kinds of hookah pipe that you can get. There's the $10 level, which has, like, a whole lot of stuff you can do. You can actually mix on that one. Like, you can get, like, you know, strawberry and mixed berry or strawberry or by itself or mixed berry by itself or you can do like cotton candy and bubble gum or something. I mean those are like some of the different flavors at the ten dollar level. The second price that you would pay and this the the higher price but two different levels. The second price level is thirteen dollars and you can get like the the higher grade tobacco or the premium level. The premium level has like three to four types but the middle one, the higher grade tobacco, is actually, you can have like, there's like, not quite as many as the $10 one, but more than the higher stuff where it has like three or four. Um, you know, it's a little more involved in, I mean, granted, they bring the hookahs already put together for you, and it's like, they sit it on the floor, and they also bring out these like little, like, stick things that you can stick inside the hookah and smoke. Uh, you know, the first time we went in there on that Thursday, Tony and I did not get a hookah. Hookah. I can't talk tonight. Hookah. Because we weren't really looking to do that that night. We were just basically in there to check it out. Um, you know, and we were just like, you know, well, let's just do it to, you know, do it. That, and, you know, we <laughs> we got so sidetracked with whatever it was that we got into that night that we just didn't have time to really cook ourselves supper. Or we would have. The second time we went there, which was like on a Saturday afternoon, well, yeah, we got a hookah pipe the second time, and well, we beat the piss out of it. I mean, we, um, really abused the privilege. And when I say abuse the privilege, I'm talking like me and him smoked six coals of tobacco. And the coals are like that big and about that big around. Um, they're, they're not very big. I mean, you can go through them like that. You know, I mean, the first one we went through, and the girl comes over and says, you know, your coal's dead. <laughs> and we're like, it is? Okay, we didn't know. You know, we didn't. I mean, that was like the first time we'd ever smoked a hookah. Um, you know, we smoked, ended up smoking six coals of tobacco. <laughs> and we, we sat there for like three or four hours smoking six six coals of tobacco. I mean, we're like, you know, um, our hookah, by the way, the $10 hookah actually was rainbow colors. Like, if you've ever seen a hookah pipe, um, you know, there's like the hose, it's like, you know, like the top part, you know, like you put the coal on the top part, and then there's like, as you go down, there's like a spot where the hoses come out. The, the hose we had was black, like, part of it, and the, the end that we held on to was rainbow colored and then had like black ends on it and then like a green mouthpiece. Um, it's actually pretty interesting to smoke. It's, you have to suck it in. You know, we didn't know that until they told or We figured it out after messing with it. I mean, we were pretty ridiculous looking. Um, but uh, I do really recommend it. I mean, and like I said before, if you're, you know, if you don't want to go there and smoke the hookah or anything, you know, don't. I mean, nobody's going to make you. I mean, they'll ask you if you want one, you know, if, if you're looking at it. Uh, but, you know, the, it's not, the smoke is not so, like, heavy and thick that it's, like, obnoxious. Like I said, the restaurant's got a really good ventilation system. They also, and in case you're interested, they actually play um, Arabic music videos and stuff. I mean, Tony and I were listening to it, and we're sitting by the TV. We couldn't understand too much of what was being said, but, you know, it was not, like, obnoxious music either. Um, but we do really recommend eating at Aladdin if you go. Um, their address, in case you want it, is 4135 Alexandria Pike, and it's where, like I mentioned, the jalapenos is. So, I'm going to pause here because I have another restaurant review to do, and we'll get going, alright? So, hang on.